How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Henry Stickman Collection, Episode 2, Stealing the Diamond. The previous episode maybe got a little out of hand. That was very long. I'm just trying to be thorough. And I got excited, and it's just easy to get wrapped up in this game. Wow, that the detail in this scene is phenomenal. I was looking at a side-by-side -side of escaping the prison, because I was just like, yeah, the improvements they made were, were good. They, they went a long way. And then you look back at the original, and it's like, oh, the As original the mayor, game did not I look very good. I declare the Tunisian archaeological exhibit open. Tunisian diamond worth 112 million, it said there. Oh, he's got an angry face keychain there. That's pretty cool as well. I'm combing around and he, oh, there's totally some hidden people down there. Hey, people you can click on that do not have bios. Although I imagine like, you know, probably I'll encounter them through one of these perhaps. Oh man, the map isn't even uh, done in the same way. Now it actually is more blueprint style, whereas before it was like, you know, a prison break, sketchy map sort of thing. All right, we're gonna go sneak in. Keep things calm and quiet to begin with. We don't want to be alerting anyone. So you have upwards options. Ooh, I like the accordion style jumble hopper, which I don't know why it's a jumble hopper, what that means. Anti-gravity cap, teleporter, of course, shrink ray pick, and Liquidificator, which looks like another Gadget Gabe style thing. This one I haven't played in like three years, so I don't actually remember how like any of this goes. I'll have a approximate guesses of how it might all go. Two points deducted. Come on, man, Henry, you gotta stick those landings. Sweet flip, bro. I tried my best. All right. Just peer straight. Wow, that's not at all how I thought that would work. <laughs> Puffballs really likes to play around with gravity in these games. <laughs> Whether or not uh, it's a cap that alters it. I guess the boots themselves are also kind of that. But then there's like the airship gravity device. You're lucky. I've always wanted to go to space. Now you're having a straight launch up there. It can't go wrong. Similar to the teleporter, speaking of things not going wrong, it's literally impossible for this to fail. We've surely figured it out at this point. If you hit the exact same button combination literally every single time, it will not fail. Wait, the teleporter works? There's a, there's a avenue where the teleporter works? I thought it was going to be like 100 feet over and crash you down onto the roof, but then I guess literally none of the roof options would work. Hmm. Looks a lot like a real gun. I don't think I want to shoot him. <laughs> we'll toss a little penny. Just a quick little flick. That'll distract him, yeah, surely. Actually, that worked so much more than I, I thought it would. <laughs> he was so wholly distracted by that. Why did that work as well as it did? I mean, it's no loony or even a toony. It's kind of funny that that wasn't even changed like a dime or anything. I don't know about the States. In Canada, we got rid of the penny. We don't have it anymore. Drop straight down. Crash through. Smash the glass with those big clawed hopper shoes of yours. I didn't see how that could fail either. I mean, that's what you wanted, right? Now just pick yourself back up. Grab that diamond and haul ass. I'm kind of not sure what this broken fail slab is supposed to be. I was looking for some thematic significance there that it in some way ties to a museum or something. It, uh, not really. Did you really think that was going to work? In my mind, it did. <laughs> I thought it would, and then it kind of did. And you can't convince me otherwise. Did you want to inspect if any of those other things are worth it? There's some pretty powerful looking rings there. Perhaps Captain Planet associations. Uh, and whatever that guy is, that clay sculptor with a with an actual like chunky body. Surely that's some artistic liberties being taken when everyone has these stick bodies. Ooh, very, I, I like the smoothness of that slash. I have a high faith in the laser. <laughs> <laughs> it very much lightsabered us. You get cut, why you no know bleed? And then answer, the laser cauterized it. 
I, that's just really funny and strange that there's like an answer to that rhetorical question buried underneath there. I like it. Hammer. Surely there's no security features in this whatsoever. I mean, you just kind of, when you landed on it and fell forward, you just kind of hurt yourself too much to, to carry on. But I didn't see any, like, alarms set off or anything. It was brilliant. It's stunning how well that worked. Oh, there's like SpongeBob Pirate there. Okay, that it's a historical artifact. It's very important. It's a it's a real thing. There was also a statue in the background there that I was wondering if I could click it, similar to like Ungus Bungus. This is it reminds me so much of how I draw cannons. I guess that's just kind of what cannons look like, but you know what I mean, cartoonified cannons in Pirate Launch. That's just exactly how I drew it. Oh, that's, just load yourself right back in there. The fuse, you have plenty of time. You can, no, not, but not quite enough time to like rethink anything. Just climb right back in. Is that picture of like a brick hallway? Is that, that's from like a game or something, right? What, like Wolfenstein or something? Is that all it is? I, I don't know that series well enough. You almost saved it. Almost. It was going really well. I, these guys aren't even having a conversation. They're just staring into each other's eyes and somehow they were so distracted as to miss miss you wheeling out a cannon. I mean, you're in this like pirate section. Presumably cannons are just like laying around, but I don't know how they missed all of that. Lighting the fuse, loading yourself up into it. That's it, right? That's it. Why? Seriously? <laughs> Maybe there was some sort of lactose intolerance angle that you're going to play up. Silent but deadly? <laughs> there was possibilities there. No, no. Don't don't rag on that choice so instantly. There was, who knows what crazy unexplored... And after that, they just up and arrested him. Whoa, really? Yeah. Arrested who? <laughs> Fire exit, keep clear at all times. What is with... These employees of these different places having the craziest rifles I've ever seen. <laughs> like, it's very over the top. The prison made slightly more sense. The museum. That's aggressive. I want to... Okay, actually, I, I want to hop over to the bios right away. We can look at everyone in a minute, but I kind of just want to know about these two. Jacob Rose, the museum's newest hire. He's still in training, so he's not allowed to work unsupervised quite yet. So he's got his buddy here, Ted McAdams. He quit working as an armored truck driver after a certain incident. Oh, that is supposed to be this guy? That's so funny. I th That would have been so unapparent. It just kind of seems, it kind of seems like just a guy with glasses, but it's like, why would he be telling this random story about arresting? That sounds kind of Henry related, but we don't really have anything else to go off of there. That's incredible, because now all of a sudden we have this uh, continuity of Winston Davis. He eventually ends up getting arrested <laughs> for, I, I guess, depending on what ending. Because not every ending can possibly be canon. But in one ending, he gets arrested. His, his buddy, his old buddy, needs something new to do with his time. That, it was weird that it indicated that I hadn't ever clicked that one before. And let's read the Henry one for now. Life has been rough after breaking out of prison. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're probably on the run quite continuously. Although, he did go immediately back to, to heisting, I think. There was no real downtime there. Time to make some quick cash by stealing the Tunisian diamond. Which, yeah, it's worth a hell of a lot of money. It seems like a pretty, pretty worthwhile to me. Perhaps we snapped the incorrect neck there. Bump! Button... <laughs> that's uh sweet Jeff something ah uh, I think I, I think it's like an Andrew Hussey comic S hella Jeff and sweet boy <laughs> I've seen it referenced before for some reason it's like a commonly referenced thing I told you about stairs I've, I've seen that specific comic and like no other ones I don't know why that is like such a thing, apparently. But I love it. I, I kind of love it. Chuck the diamond at him. Probably weighs a, a... Well, I guess not a million pounds, since you're carrying it around. Wow, that really... That's some straight-up murder. And it worked! 
unseen burglar and murderer man you got sent to jail for your robbing of the bank and everything what are there skulls no 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 it, it for a second they look like skulls on the money but it's kind of funny because it's just a stick neck and then like a circle head he's really enjoying himself that's really twisted and messed up. Henry dies a lot in these games, but you know, not, he doesn't want to die. That's just kind of what happens. Oh, these are laid out very differently. I guess I haven't branched them at all yet. <laughs> I'll go back to the end here and kind of work backwards from there. That's, I feel, I don't feel good about that. $121 million or 22, whatever it was. That's a lot of money, but not enough I don't know if you could pay for enough therapy from enough of the most expensive therapists in the world to get over that, Henry. That's something you should be taking into consideration. I guess that's something he's willing to do. I never thought of Henry as that bad of a guy. I knew he's a criminal. He's kind of an anti-hero. Because later in the series, he starts being kind of heroic, even though self-serving. But I guess he's also a murderer. Man, those first-person shooters make it look so easy. Maybe you shouldn't be shooting from the hip like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator. <laughs> Grab a branch! Hang on tight! I'm surprised you made it that far with that heavy diamond. Actually, yeah, that's some really intense, like, is that gonna be your calves, your quads? That's some pretty serious muscle power. I'm, I'm quite impressed with you there, Henry. Diamond so low. Is there a version of the diamond that is not solo? So that I have an accomplice? Back up on the catwalk, the wormhole rifle. That sort of excess step into uh, technologically can't fail. Jumping down with nothing to guide you? Too simple. That's caveman tactics. That's never going to work. A wire? Pretty good. A hook, a rope, some basic understandings of, uh, of gravity? That's good. That's right in the middle. Wormhole rifle, uh, a little too sci-fi. I'm going to guess that you've taken it too far in the other direction there. <laughs> I mean, perfect, right? Now, no one can capture you in there. As long as you stay in that permanent loop forever, no one's ever going to be able to arrest you. You've achieved immortality <laughs> in a way. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't able to get down there with that amazing portal technology. You really, they were poorly placed portals, Henry. It's pretty strange how these portal guns work. I mean, it combines the top scientific process of our time. I'm going to start reading faster. The portal gun contains a flux quantum generator that propels energy blasts with energy valves of 4.23 gigawatts with an average speed of approximately 25 meters per second. That, I, I was un... Not expecting metric. <laughs> this speed is the most optimal because it allows the energy to be conserved while still maintaining a speed that is appropriate. The external plastic casing of the portal gun is constructed of high polymer fireproof carbon fiber. This percent prevents the intense energy of the portal gun from burning the hands of the user. The intense energy causes intense heat. Oh, by the way, if you want an achievement, click here. Oh. <laughs> uh, Ain't got no time for that, TLDR. I've heard that scientists still do not know what happens if two portals are placed on top of one another the last time that was attempted. Well, I'm sure you heard about that on the news. I always thought one portal would go through the other, but it wouldn't be open to anywhere. Wow, that really just melted the brain quite suddenly. I thought I had a perfect understanding of how this sci-fi non-real thing would work. Turns out not even a little bit. I don't know if all that's like copy and pasted from Arbiter technology from the Portal games or anything. It just seemed worthwhile to read, read it all. Uh, oh, we should just kick out that little doorstop. Wait. Oh, what are the odds of that? It went all the way through <laughs> the uh, the vent system and it came back up and hit him in the face. His like cross eyes and uh, reminds me of. Is it Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? I think it's Lord of the Rings, where Legolas like shoots an arrow into his brain and he just kind of gets like dummied and slack-jawed on the spot as his brain gets rotted. Can they include a falcon punch sound effect here and risk the copyrights? It'll probably have to be tweaked. Falcon punch! <laughs> 
like how it has like the pounds, not just like punch. There's that pow, pow quality to it. P A W, pow, pounds, pounds. Only one man is capable of that punch. Could have maybe tried like a hawk punch or an eagle punch, maybe even like an osprey punch. Heck, I'm I'm sure like I don't know even a little starling punch would have would have done. You, you didn't have to go straight for the falcon one. That's reserved for the pros. Invisibility pill. Can't fail, right? Although I suppose you could lose track of yourself. <laughs> what happened? I lost track of you. Hmm, that could potentially almost be a canon ending. Henry did who knows what with his time after that. He had really limitless options. There's our full venture to the top, discovering a particular ending there. That makes a lot of sense. Two out of four. Those are the counts of fails, not potential options. It's just weird to read it that way. When it says two out of four, there's clearly six. It's just counting fails. Shrink ray. So we can get infinitely small, probably. <laughs> Actually, I really... This is kind of funny now that Grounded just came out. But there's something really funny about shrinking you down into, like, the silliest, most generic-looking stick man there is. Man, worms are so much more vicious up close. Mm, I personally would have gone for the uh, Dune Arrakis reference. <laughs> something about, like, not sound sandworms, but earthworms or something. Ah, there's something there. I would need more time to think on it, obviously. That would have been... That's where my mind went. We'll go Gadget Gabe. We'll hop around the tiniest bit. Oh, instructions. Turn yourself into a liquid and bend your molecules around or through any object. It's fantastically easy to use. 10 out of 10. Yeah, but you need a little bit of water bending skills. So, I mean, it's not all that straightforward. You need the, you need the ability to operate the machinery as well as bend the water. That's what he was missing there. He didn't have the, the nice flowy movements to bend himself through the wall. What'd you think was gonna happen? Well, you know, maybe next time we'll ask Katara for a little bit of help. We clearly don't have that ability within ourselves. Oh, <laughs> I truly was not prepared yeah, so for apparently there's something in that cake and uh, Minecraft. I used it to escape. And then I got fired. Pretty lame, huh? Yeah, I don't really like this <laughs> uh, one. Please shut up. Oh I just I was, Characters I just, in this I game are very rambly. I tried to click on so stick Hitler. There's no bio there. I just want to see what else these guys have to say. You know, I just kind of wanted to have a conversation. It's just, you know, just lighten things up. I mean, what's going to happen in a museum? I mean, really. You feel a draft. You feel a draft. Just trying to, they're just trying to have a good day. It's a, it's just boring as heck. I love, <laughs> I love the swap to that face. Quick, pretend you were joking. A good one, right, guys? Lol, pranks, bro. Go check it out on Super Pranks Maximum. Dot YouTube. It's not how YouTube channel links work. The plane. Oh God, that really clubbed the hell out of that guy. I feel a little bit bad for him clubbing himself on the wall there. I didn't. Oh, that okay. Do I, you have to wait for him to like duck to to grab that. That's very difficult to do. Truly. Did not work at all. Hmm. Must be a light sleeper. <laughs> I don't know if there's any way around that. I don't think that's going to work. Come on, doze off. Oh, get that anime run. He's it, He had good form there. There's <laughs> a little Luigi on the wall. Oh, it's going to not go back. I'm going to have to have... Oh. There's also a Banjo and Kazooie puzzle piece. We got the, the like, Goomba world portrait. Mario 64, uh, Ocarina, some sort of wand, and then whatever those little slide flute things are, and a, a blue blue shell. Oh, and the little the other little big world painting. Those are probably both also Zelda things, I just don't know. It's really funny to have an entire room that is, like, reference-based. So we'll go with the Metroid alien, yes, first. The, the Metroid? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're called facehuggers or something, but I'm pretty sure that's Half-Life. Isn't like, aren't those little guys the Metroids? I don't know enough about that series. Looks like they don't take kindly to orders. Grobar, go full Half-Life on them. There's Half-Life, I think. 
Apparently there was a bit of- yeah, there's the head crabs. Face huggers is alien. I'm confusing everything. Man, I hate when that happens. <laughs> I, it's kind of funny that you're like grabbing video game reference things from the video game reference room, but none of them are the ones that you can see. The good ball, as opposed to a poke ball? As opposed to a great ball. What am I saying? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't, wouldn't it be like a stab ball or something? I'm trying to give a poke alternative. We've had both those guys. Night guards, Tim and Joe sent out Joe. <laughs> go missing go. Oh, can I get a profile for missing go? Damn it, an error has occurred. Press for that. So many things, oh my god, what the F? Stealing the diamond fail, so much binary. Press any key to something the current application. I'll just start pressing keys. Actually pressing that won't do anything. <laughs> oh, I've scrambled up all the, the buttons and everything as well. There's totally something there, right? With all of this. Maybe there's another type of error that can be created in this. A fatal exception nine has occurred. I'm, I'm not certain. There were so many things going on. Something there must have been clickable. Giant big mushroom. This has got to be an ending. It seems totally unstoppable to me. Get to go full Godzilla mode? Never understood why big means like bullet immunity. Can't click on the pterodactyl. I really wish that you could. Wow, I'm glad I got that guy before he got scooped up. That was hardcore. He got totally decimated. Is that, is that supposed to be like a little Rasputin? That, that guy's new too? There's so many random just new things. Somewhere in the Southwest Center for Chaos Containment, there's the, the triple C. Uh, sir? You might want to come look at this. Did we just break the universe here? 10.6. It's coming from the museum. There's a lot of chaos. My god. It's over nine? Nine. It's a lot. It's a yeah. big number. It's I'm very high. I'm up to you, Corporal. Just hit one of those buttons to deal with this. It's just tapping out of it entirely. Situation. Who's watching TV? Get back to work. There's something funny about heavily monitoring this particular museum. Maybe it just happened to blip up. Oh, I get to choose. The some division dividing by zero. That's really funny. Or nuclear, or a gear, or a satellite. I feel like dividing by zero would successfully destroy the universe. So that's the that's the one I'm going with. I thought I was going to do it. <laughs> Leet. Ah, he's all excited. Divide by zero. No! What have you done? You ripped a hole in the fabric of space-time. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. Did I... Where? Where is everyone? <laughs> Nuclear... Oh, he slams that one. Well, it is a little bit. Chaosolation. Tactical nuke. That's a video game reference of some sort, having the countdown and everything. The sound effects, I think. I think. That's it. The apocalypse. Do you guys remember that? That the following Henry Stickman game? That's the canon ending. That particular fail takes place in a wasteland. Don't feel too bad. He probably camped for like 25 kills to get that nuke. That's totally like Call of Duty or something. Counter-Strike? I don't play enough first-person shooters. Maybe I played just the right amount. Oh, God. <laughs> I keep trying to get bios of characters like this. Do you know what? There's something about this villain that's like kind of epic, but also a little bit uh, like Captain Underpantsy. <laughs> Is that what I'm... I feel like that's what it's reminding me of. Is, is that it? We're just going to flee? Oh, we did not receive the diamond. We did destroy the museum, like very thoroughly. This, this robot's not very good at containing chaos. You've let the number one agent of chaos get away. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Well, I just assumed that was not going to work out. Just plain epic. <laughs> or just plain dumb luck. I think maybe also would explain that quite thoroughly. I feel like... That wasn't particularly earned. Let's read through a few bios. There are less, there's even, there's slightly less in this one actually. Mayor Fredrickson, so, so, ran together in a weird way. The underdog winner of last year's election. He's popular among the citizens because of his love of the arts. 
That's very sweet. They like his pink tie. Jeff Stickley. <laughs> uh, one other character who happens to have a stick-based name. It, he almost had his own video game franchise. He just became less compelling of a character, and people were a little bit grossed out by the, the thinness of that mustache. If he were to grow that out a bit more, then perhaps we'd be playing the Jeff Stickley series instead of him being a stand-up citizen and a good security guard. He enjoys his rooftop post. It gives him a chance to admire the stars. He considers himself an amateur astronomer. Is this my favorite character in the series? He's just like, I. he likes his job, likes it out under the stars. What a great guy. Cliff Nux. He picked up smoking so he could take more breaks. Oh, we all know those. I'm sure his secondary motivating factor was that he thought he looked cool doing it. Todd Slimmons. It's hard to work odd hours at a museum. Your sleep hours get all messed up. He's doing his best. Oh, it's the sleepy guy. Dave Panpa. He was fired from his previous job for negligence. He bounced back quickly, though, and found a new job as a security guard. I'm guessing he was one of these guys. I like the idea of there being, like, a level of continuity there and, and further ties between. Perhaps... Perhaps it's just the one, the one character, Ted McAdams, who carried forward. Oh no, here he is, Dave Pampa, he's right in like the top row. He's new to the force and eager to do a good job. And now here he is, he did not do a good job, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, and I actually, I actually managed to get the entire second uh, page already. Kurt Dietrich. This guy hates going to work, not to mention they paired him with some annoying newbie. Gah! Joseph Joe. He may not look it, but he's a scrappy guy. He's not itching for a fight, but he won't back down if challenged. Timothy Lewis goes by Tim. His work shift usually involves running a nightly patrol. Oh, it's Tim and Joe. A, a famous Tim and Joe pairing. Alexander Garb. He's scared of heights and birds. Oh, no. I'm so lucky to have clicked that one on a first go around. Tony Franz. He's secretly in the Mafia. He got placed here, said he could launder money. Ooh, that's an intriguing backstory. Perhaps it'll come up again later. Clyde Jenkins, a standard level employee at the Center for Chaos Containment. CCC protocol requires you to run action by superior officer. Q, superior officer. Corporal Bill Bullet. <laughs> we got our own Bullet Bill here. The person in charge of the CCC Central Branch. He's pretty lax and trusts his agents to do their jobs well. Yeah, he really peaced out. He fully shirked the responsibility there. Ah, oh, no, you go ahead. You do it. I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you'll do a bang up job. All right, bomb, bomb, bomb. I feel a little bit bad about that, but that was a very blind shot. You're supposed to be the veteran here. He's the newbie. You should know better than just start firing randomly. Why would they keep live bombs in a museum? I mean, even if it wasn't a live bomb, it was pretty good. Pretty good strategy, if you ask me. And there'll be one more for just uh, running out the clock there. Ooh, if only we could carry forward that shrink ray and climb into that mini tank. Or mini airplane. So many. <laughs> the conversation can't be that interesting. Those guys had a lot to say. They, uh, I, I was curious to see them bond and their relationship unfold, you know? It seemed like... They were getting oh, somewhere with that. Some. They were they were becoming such strong friends. I just I just wanted to witness and be a part of that. The satellite. I haven't I haven't done the satellite down this branch. Oh, it's another shoop to whoop. Well now apparently this is like a recurring thing. It's not even a unique small little isolated thing that exists in just the one game. I couldn't resist. Okay, that's pretty funny that there's something in puffballs that was just like this needs to happen. This is this is important that I make this joke more than once. Oh, okay, I'm totally like flustered. I don't know, confused, trying to figure out what I'm missing. I'm entirely. I didn't ever bust in. I got so tied up in all the sneakings that I never tried to go fully extreme. Well, this is just gonna obviously work right uh, from the very beginning, right? There's like no chance this will fail at any point. This is a flawlessly incredible plan. Why didn't you just sail it straight through the front door, man? No one was going to stop you on a rocket-powered scooter. Well, you got one of the guards. <laughs> I could ram him. 
Take them both out as long as they line themselves up. Swords! They're pretty cool. <laughs> They're at least pretty cool. Oh, there's Blocky from Battle Block Theater on a poster over here. I'm sure we'll have to go through it again. Lance! Stab straight through. Well, that didn't quite go well, did it? <laughs> the the different areas here where they have like the medieval and then there's like a few stick versions of medieval characters and here there's like, I don't know, Roman or Spartan, Greek. The, who knows? It could be any of those lumped together or any singly, but there was a 300 thing. Jousting, it's harder than it looks. Oh, see, I want to know who that was in the background there. Flails are going to be harder to use than than that, yeah. <laughs> stop hanging around and do something. Haha, <laughs> get it? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> it wasn't a particularly well thought out one. Oh, there's a Castle Crafters guy in the background there. Good thing the janitors just got done buffing the floors. Could you imagine all the germs you'd be rolling in right now if they hadn't? It would have been fun to like toboggan around on that. Wait, if I just do nothing? Oh, I didn't click the shield fast enough the first time around. That makes more sense as to why that didn't seem to play, pay out, play out. Oh, it's the sleepy guy, of course. Uh, yeah, that seems like it worked perfectly. Suction that boy on there, as we know from the plungers. Suction technology yeah, in this world? Top notch. I figured night garden is much less dangerous than driving a... Marble stick man is very funny. <laughs> Maybe he's just a, like stone of some sort. We're getting like Grand Theft Auto dear Branch! But, you know, okay, sneaky branch. Um, but they're just gonna take it. Didn't really think that one through, did ya? I was thinking like, <laughs> you know, the classic thing where you duck under the branch and then they run into the branch. I feel like it usually happens on horseback and they get clipped off their horse. Doesn't really work in a car, so that was just gonna never work. No matter which way you try to manipulate it. He looks like he's gonna shoot the diamond. It's not really aiming the right direction. Oh, I'm just earning more stars. I'm boned. Wow, that's really excessive police force. I truly didn't think a bubble would stop them. That worked so much better than it had any right to. Perfect, incredible technology there. Cannot fail. But now we're pretty boned. If you do not comply, I will be forced to fire upon you. You leave me no choice, sir. What could I do with bribe? I could bribe one of them? I, I figured I might as well just let that play out. Do do something. That was pretty like cinematic. Dramatic. Sir, place your hands where I can see them. Would you like you do not uh comply, I will be somewhere between half and a third of a diamond? Uh, bribery is a federal offense, sir. Wow! Judge Jerry executioner there much strange that usually works Sir, place your hands where I can see them oh, we'll just drive away <laughs> I failed so abruptly I don't think you're gonna get very far with that Sir, place your hands kick it over the edge fugitive style yeah too slow he looked a little disappointed in himself honestly wash ashore rescued by Bigfoot and he won't understand the value of money. Intruder on a scooter. <laughs> and so then, you know, we can start negotiating with Bigfoot. Obviously, he's not going to need all that money. I'm sure we can pay him back with, like, some uh, some back scratches. Something as simple as that. A few, a few steps back to investigate here. Sticky grenade. Oh, it's a little too sticky, perhaps. Where do you even get those? I always wondered how those things work. You can't really just turn on stickiness, can you? It doesn't make a lot of sense. This makes me think of uh, the island episode of The Simpsons where they're making a getaway and they activate a bubble and it just immediately gets popped with a fork. And you're like, why did you think that would work? Shut up, that's why! Just always expecting The Simpsons reference. Oh, there's gonna be one more for just not reacting at all. <laughs> Boom, headshot. Is that guy Australian or something? He's got the cool hat, a little bit of an accent, good with a shotgun, or sorry, a sniper rifle. Sounds like a classic Australian. Calls people wankers. It's everything I know about Australia. I guess everything about this like section is all quick time stuff. I can just, just do nothing again. <laughs> you can see the car hop where they clearly ran him over after. 
I can see all those hours of playing video games have really sharpened your reflexes. Oh, wait. There's something layered and meta there about the fact that, you know, we're playing a video game. Chuck it in the basket. The way that folds out is really effective. I really want that in my own bike. Ah, Torque. I bet you wish you paid more attention in physics class now, huh? That's not my fault that these scientists didn't know how to counterbalance their scooter and make a basket capable of carrying something that heavy and balance out that weight in the back. They should have thought that out. That's a design flaw. That's not on me. I take zero blame. And then, you know, just uh, just wait and hope things work out. It wasn't, it wasn't a great strategy. Come on. You don't have time to just stand around. Back all the way. We're missing a couple from early on here. The do nothing. Sail straight past them. Wow, you're off to a great start. And which one? I thought I did all these. Jump. I never tried to jump them. <laughs> that was kind of brilliant. That's America's Funniest Home Videos quality. I kind of like how you didn't even see Henry's wipeout. You just saw, like, a, the middle portion of it. Probably the most painful portion. Jumping off a speeding vehicle may not be the best idea. I mean, I have at least 40 not great ideas here. And I don't know, that one, that one ranks somewhere in the middle. I've had worse, for sure. <laughs> Flip through the remaining bios now that we have them all. Conrad Connors. He got the job as a security guard because his friend hooked him up. They tend to work their shifts together. Would that be Billy Barnes? Is that not uh, Punisher's friend? Usually manages to work the same shift as his friend. Well, I feel very happy for these two that they're able to, to team up like that. Zach Nutt takes his job seriously. Some of his co-workers get annoyed with his constant use of the walkie-talkie. You gotta stay in touch, you gotta stay alert, apprised of all goings on in the museum. Works for the museum on a foreign exchange program. Nobody knows exactly what country he's from. Oh, Himbert, Himbert Schultz. Either I didn't read it at all before or didn't read it right. I don't think companies do foreign exchange programs. That doesn't sound right. Billy Clud. It's funny because he has a Billy Club. <laughs> Just flip that D around. He was really set up for a very particular life. Always looking for excuses to use his nightstick. He loves to show off his skills to his co-workers. Sam Turner. They love the guarding aspect of security guard work. Actually dealing with burglars. Not so much. They love the guarding aspect of security guard work. Actually dealing with burglars. Not so much. I don't know how often you guys are getting uh, burglarized. But also, like, <laughs> you kind of just described guarding. <laughs> this is, that is the job. The standing around and doing nothing, that's the part that you like. Maybe be one of those people who works construction and, like, holds the stop and, and slow sign, you know? Because then you're kind of guarding the road, and no one's going to burglarize a road. I Sam Turner, I recommend a career change. Richard Wilkins. He's a hardworking fellow who always tries his best to, who always tries to do his best. He loves chocolate. <laughs> I like how one in ten of these people just gets a random fact about themselves that isn't even explored in the game. Rupert Price. His workplace suffered a huge embarrassment. He's determined to work extra hard now. That is totally uh, this guy. I Whatever that is, I've never understood. It kind of looks like he has headphones on, but that's like his hair somehow, I guess. He's been on the force for nearly eight years. He joined the academy right out of high school. Not much more information on that guy, but it's just interesting to see characters carry forward. I'm in love with that aspect of these bios. Johnny Panzer. He's ridden, risen quickly through the ranks, and it's no surprise. His skills are well above average. Jack Sheen. The only helicopter pilot on the force who can fly to the city and back in under two hours. <laughs> he's, he's doing some sort of, like, Kessel run there. Samuel Mundy. He's not a crazed assassin, but he doesn't work for the police department either. Looks like he was hired for a job. <laughs> There's just some, like, rogue operative who's working alongside the police here. I want to know more about this character. There's a lot more to be said about Samuel Mundy. 
James Lancelot, oh, it's a badass last name, frequently eats at those medieval restaurants. <laughs> well, yeah, and then he likes to just show off and tell people, like, hello, I'm Lancelot. Claims his family used to be nobles way back when. So that is all of the author bios. I'm missing uh, none of those achievements, but most of the secret achievements. Like a D6, lose six points. Uh, so do I just have to screw up that one thing three times? Like, do I just jumble hopper myself two more times? That's all it's gonna take? Two points deducted one more time. Hey, there it is. Lose six points. I was, I was kind of hoping it would have an extra little something to say on, on the third one. The binary thing must still be missing go, I think, and connoisseur, I must own this art. There is a lot of fun art as you're like zipping through the different parts here. Through the medieval hall is where some of the most exist exciting stuff was taking place, I think. A step further back, there's the Battle Block Guide, Team Fortress, Dinos, Frog, and... Oh, okay, hello. <laughs> Wait, did I just collect... Wait, you have to collect all the artworks? Oh my god, it was very, um... That's like Jesus or something. Oh my god, there's so much to collect all of a sudden. I wasn't expecting this. I, do I have to collect separately all of the, the Castle Crashers there? This one's gonna be, like, quite involved. Complete. Maybe I only have to get. Oh, maybe the castle crashers aren't them at all. It's only the paintings. I'll be so disappointed if there's not like a gallery that I can I can go and inspect some of those because some of them seemed so funny. Give me all. Oh, it has to be the ones with those particular frames. That is my favorite. I would want that art. That's the art that I want. Oh, it's, it's hidden away in the distance there. Those two. Ah, one of them is just like an ink blot or whatever, but I couldn't get it in time. This particular achievement takes a lot more time and dedication than any of the others. No, I missed it! I gotta, like, keep an eye on where my mouse needs to be. Right about here, yes. Oh, got it. Ink splotch. It's a pretty unexciting piece of art. Shield my way through. Surely this room will be loaded up with art. Ah, I like, I do like how the uh, art like remains gone once you, once you've taken it. Oh, that's, there's like a whole thing there to collect. All right, back to the museum. Not going to be any art out here. Except for the artful way in which those guys smushed my spine with their car tires. Okay, off to storage. I have to just collect a nice SpongeBob art. That's a, that's a simple one. Oh, all of those black and white ones on the wall there. That's a lot. I think we glance over here. Uh, maybe it's when you try and run by the other direction. I feel like in some maybe that's maybe that's as much as we see into that room i thought there would be more going on there oh here we are now we're talking let me grab the the big boy oh there's more in that room <laughs> i'm a genius i could try and figure out the good ball thing while i'm at it honestly cuz that one's I haven't quite figured out that one yet. Apparently, I'm just fully committed to showing precisely where all of the different artworks are hidden. So I guess if anyone else is curious and wants to like figure that out for themselves or give it an attempt, uh, can I can I click some of these? Oh, I clicked whatever in the bottom left-hand corner there. One, I clicked one specific important one, I guess, and that's that's all it needed. But I feel like there's some hopefully helpful aspect here that if anyone's like, ah, oh, why can't I find the 30th, 30th piece of art or whatever, then hopefully I will have shown you through this. Gotta snag all of those off the wall. Okay, that's kind of, those ones are kind of tough to grab, actually. It doesn't give you a bunch of time. Probably there's a, a, a different path I should choose that would give a bit extra time. Like if I just threw the bomb... That's a much, ugh, even that's not great, but at least it doesn't carry you down a cutscene that takes a very long time to, to play out properly and allow you the opportunity to click things. That one, I couldn't click the one that's like behind him there when you club him with the plane. Oh, when I use the gun, they all of a sudden all come back. That's not quite working. 
Oh, I just had to click in a very particular spot, and I, I finally got it, but I'm still missing five. I'm racking up the fails here. That does set off an alarm. <laughs> it just doesn't last very long, so I didn't notice it the first time around. Oh, you can grab that one. It just can't be... It can't be during this particular screen. It's like you have to initiate a thing first to be able to yank it off the wall. Oh, there's like a little sonic rig down there too, which is pretty funny. I, I missed that the first time. During this big sequence, maybe there's some art? Oh, oh, those... Okay, there's a cactus over there, and there's totally that one other piece of art where he's just like sitting on the ground. I should also keep an eye out and just see if they have like a random piece of art chilling in their, in their uh, office. You might wanna... That one there, and I'm still missing just one more. I'm kind of curious if this Tun Tunisia diamond picture clicking on it like crazy. It must not count. All right, I've I've already gone through this loop once and and missed it because it's like a, a blink and you miss it thing. But laying on the ground during all of this over the top stuff like over here, there it is. <laughs> There's even a thing that falls on top of it there, so it makes it all the more difficult to be able to get a hold of. It's funny that the little connoisseur picture that goes along with it isn't even one of the art pieces you can get. I don't understand that. Oh man, that took a full hour <laughs> to get all the endings and everything. Why? How did people play through this game so quickly before? People must not have hunted for like every fail and ending when they make like a 15 minute video on this game. So that is all the achievements. All of the, the bios, the fails, the endings, and everything. Great. Great. We've wrapped up that one. Set ourselves up to go through infiltrating the airship equally as thoroughly. Looking forward to it. My level of remembering these games is decreasing. I barely remembered stealing the diamond. And from this point on, like, not at all. And then, obviously, I can't remember the new one. So that's going to be so exciting. I'm, I'm very much enjoying this. I hope you guys are sticking with me, gritting and bearing it through these overly ambitious videos of, of covering absolutely everything. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.